Whichever soda this filter lands on, I'm gonna turn it into a Squishmallow. Okay, what's it gonna be? Canada Dry Ginger Ale. Okay, let's go. Okay, the base color is definitely gonna be these two greens, but I do kinda wanna put the world map on it because there are some globe Squishmallows. And then we also obviously have to add the crown. I'm gonna start by making it green. To get that two-tone in there, I'm gonna add a little belly in because a lot of Squishmallows have that and make it green. Then I'm gonna start adding in all the different continents of the map. Okay, now I'm gonna draw the little crown on top of his head. I'm gonna give him a little tiny smile. And lastly, I'm gonna give him little tiny arms because I want to add in a little maple leaf since we are dealing with Canada Dry. So I'm gonna finish that up off camera and here's the final result. Of all of my soda series, I do think this one looks the least like the soda itself, but I love all the elements from the can, and I do think you'd be able to guess what it is if you didn't know. Let me know what you think about it and what we should name it in the comments. Whichever soda this filter lands on, we're gonna turn it into a Squishmallow. Okay, what are we? Mountain Dew Code Red. Okay, let's do it. Think about Mountain Dew Code Red. I kind of think about like gamers, something that, like similar to this meme. So I'm thinking what we do is we make him be sitting in a gamer chair. Maybe put some sunglasses on it. Okay, so first comes the color. Now I'm gonna add on some sunglasses. Okay, I've got those, but for the eyes, I'm gonna down the opacity. Yes, perfect. I'm gonna give him one arm over here, but then in this arm, I wanna have him holding like a game controller. The flavor is cherry, so I'm gonna add a big cherry stem up here. For some reason, I just feel like he would be mad. <laughs> I wanna add the logo here almost as if it's a sticker. Lastly, I'm gonna add the gamer chair behind him and here's the final result. This turned out way better than I ever thought it would. I don't know, it's so cute to me. The gamer aesthetic, everything is just so Mountain Dew Code Red. Let me know what you think we should name it in the- Whichever soda this filter lands on, I'm gonna turn it into a Squishmallow. Okay, ooh, Strawberry Crush. Okay, let's go. So I am thinking that we make this into a kind of strawberry Squishmallow with the leaf part on the top, but instead of red, we make it this pinky color from the can. And I do have an idea for that orange slice somewhere along the way. So first I'm gonna make the whole thing pink. This is what the strawberry one looks like. So I'm gonna add on a stem on top, very similar to that one. But I'm gonna do the green from the can for the stem. I'm gonna add on a little belly. I'm gonna color that in pink and then add on all the seeds in that same color. I told you I was gonna add that orange back in and this is my idea is to make the mouth almost like a giant orange slice. So I'm gonna pick up the color up here, color it in and here is the final result. Definitely not so far on the soda side, but I love the idea of the pink strawberry and I just think that mouth is so cute. Let me know what you think we should name this Strawberry Crush Squishmallow in the comments. Whatever soda this filter lands on, we're gonna turn it into a Squishmallow. Ooh, crushed peach. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're definitely gonna have to make it into a peach. And since peaches have such a distinct shape, I'm gonna go ahead and just redo the whole outside. Now I'm gonna make it that peachy color and draw on a stem and a big leaf. I wanna add on a little belly just to kind of make it look a little more like a Squishmallow. And I'm thinking for the mouth, I do one of these tiny little peach slices. So I'm just gonna draw that in, that's so adorable. Can has a lot of these like splash effects on there. So I think it'd be cool if on this little guy, if I add in some little like splatters and just little, I don't know, like bubbles, just things to make it look like condensation on a can. So I'm gonna finish all that up. Here's the final result. Okay, I don't know about the whole drippiness of everything, but I really wish they would make a peach Squishmallow that had that little tiny peach as the mouth as well. I think it turned out so cute. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whichever soda this filter lands on, I'm gonna turn it into a Squishmallow. What are we gonna, ooh, Pepsi Vanilla, all right. So the way this can looks with this little swoop up here kind of reminds me of the cow Squishmallows. So I think I'm gonna make a blue and kind of this off-white color cow and probably put that little flower from the vanilla somewhere on it. So I'm gonna make it blue and draw on the little swoopy. Now I'm gonna add on the horns and the ears and I'm gonna color all of that in. 
My favorite part is that one ear gets the cream color and then the other ear gets the blue color. Now we need to add on that little vanilla bean flower. So I'm thinking we put it on this side almost like it's like a hair clip or something. Now I'm gonna add in the cow's little snout. Now my last thought is, what if we make the Pepsi logo be inside the nose? So I'm gonna draw that in and here is the final result. I love this one. I love that it all kind of stems from that one little detail. I love the flower, the little mouth I'm not positive on, but let me know what you think and what we should name it in the comments. Whichever soda this filter lands on, I'm gonna turn it into a Squishmallow. What's it gonna be? Pib Extra, okay. Okay, for some reason this can is giving like lava to me, so I'm thinking maybe we do like a dragon, but with this kind of pattern on it. Also, I've never noticed it's called spicy cherry soda. All right, so I'm gonna color it red and then try to get these almost like crackly looking designs on there. Okay, this is looking really cool so far. Now I'm gonna add on like the wings and some other elements from the dragon. Now I'm gonna add in the ears and the horns. Now I'm gonna add on the belly for the dragon and the little nose. I am loving how this looks. Okay, last step is I just wanna add in the Pib Extra logo to the belly and here is the final result. This might be one of my favorite ones from the soda series. I think the way that these little cracklies look like lava is just so cool. And honestly, I don't know, I could actually see something like this as a real collab between these two. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whichever soda this filter lands on, I'm gonna turn it into a Squishmallow. What's it gonna be? Ooh, okay, classic, seven up, let's go. Okay, so what I'm thinking is maybe giving it a tiny little red hat and then making the whole thing be a green, but then maybe even making this little belly part be one of these little citrus slices. So first I'm gonna make the whole thing green and now I'm gonna add on that little belly. I'm gonna turn that yellow and start adding in the little details for the citrus. All right, now I'm gonna add in the little tiny red hat. I keep wanting to call it a cherry, but I don't think it is. The can has a lot of yellow on it, so I think it'd be cool to do like a yellow gradient down the whole thing. And then I also wanna add in some of these little white bubbles. So I'm gonna do all of that, and here is the final result. I don't know about the little hat on there. <laughs> it makes it kind of look like an olive or like a badminton birdie. But I do think it looks really cute and I decided to add a little bubble mouth at the end. I love that aspect. Let me know what you think we should name this one in the comments. Welcome to a new series I'm calling Roll for Squish, where we let the dice decide what kind of squishmallows we mash together. Let's get rolling. Okay, so we've got an octopus grocery store clerk that is gray, red, and yellow with a beak boba and holding something that I decide. Okay, I've got my inspiration up here, so I think I wanna make the octopus body be red. And now I need to draw on all of the little tentacles and I wanna make them yellow. Now we need to draw on the little apron that signifies that they are a grocery store clerk. Okay, got that done and now I'm gonna turn it gray. And I wanna make the things inside the apron be yellow and red grocery objects. So I think I'm gonna do like a tomato and a banana. Okay, I have to give it boba and normally on Squishmalls, all the boba is like at the bottom. So I'm just gonna put a bunch of little dots down here. Okay, now I have to give it a beak. So I guess I'm just gonna draw like something like that. Okay, last he has to be holding something. So I think I'm gonna add like a ketchup bottle in one hand and a mustard bottle in the other. Alrighty, and here is the final result. I love how this one came out. It's definitely something I never would have made without the Roll for Swish game. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. 